Companies like Ferrari, Pagani, Bugatti, and Lamborghini. These car makers elevate their products beyond mere commuter vehicles and into status symbols. But even among this exclusive bunch, only a handful of cars can claim to be the fastest, the rarest, and in this case, the most expensive. We've done the hard work and put together a list of the 20 most expensive new cars of all time. So sit back and relax, and maybe even think about what you might want sitting in your garage, provided you have at least a spare million dollars lying around. Retailing at only $1.4 million, the Ferrari LaFerrari is a downright bargain compared to some of the other cars on our list. First released in 2013, the hybrid LaFerrari offers 950 horsepower and tops out at 220 miles per hour, making it Ferrari's fastest production model to this day. On the used market, however, examples are now selling for over twice the original sale price. Like the LaFerrari, the original Pagani Huayra was released in very limited quantities and offered at $1.4 million when it was new. Produced between 2012 and 2018, the car was assembled completely by hand and powered by a twin turbocharged Mercedes AMG V12 capable of 720 horsepower. The McLaren Elva is one of the latest additions to the British supercar maker's storied legacy. Even without a proper windshield or roof to rely on, the Elva still pumps out 804 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque from its twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8. Originally announced just 399 units and later limited to an even more scarce 249 units, the Elva will cost customers $1.7 million. Much like the roofless McLaren Elva, the Ferrari SP1 and SP2 are all about alfresco motoring. As the name implies, the SP1 is a single-seater, while the SP2 has just enough room for you to bring along a friend with its two-seat configuration. The cars are powered by a 6.5-liter naturally aspirated V12 engine capable of 809 horsepower and 530 pound-feet of torque. Unfortunately for US buyers, neither of these models will be street legal. Of course, if you have the funds to afford the car's $1.7 million price tag, getting onto a track probably won't be an issue. With just 12 units produced in total, the Bentley Bacalar makes some of these limited cars on the list look plentiful by comparison. Although the car's opulent design may be the first thing to grab your attention, the Bacalar is no slouch in terms of performance. With Bentley's signature 6-liter W12, the car delivers 650 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque. If you have a spare $1.9 million lying around and you're thinking about buying one, well, you're too late. Bentley states that every example is already in customer hands. Named after the company's founder, Batista Farina, the Pininfarina Batista is set to deliver the kind of performance and price that would have made its namesake proud. Revealed at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show, the Batista is all electric, putting out 1,827 horsepower. If a normal supercar 0-60 to time sounds too leisurely for you, the company says that the Batista will take you there in under 2 seconds. Pininfarina plans on building just 150 examples of the Batista, costing $2.5 million each. The Mercedes-AMG One is unapologetically a Formula One car for the road. Originally teased in March 2017 and followed up by a concept, the One appears to be finally getting a production model in the coming year. When it does, the car will feature a turbocharged 1.6-liter V6 derived straight from Lewis Hamilton's championship F1 racer. Over 1,200 horsepower and a price tag of $2.7 million are both part of the deal. The folks at Aston Martin know a thing or two about exclusive vehicles, and the Victor might just be the most exclusive project yet. Based on the 177 platform, the Victor uses parts from several donor Astons, including the track-only Vulcan and the upcoming Valkyrie. Talking about limited production, the Victor is one of one and rumored to cost nearly $3 million. Although many of the cars on this list could be considered works of art, this is especially true of the ultra-avant-garde Bugatti Bolide. While this car's incredible styling with X-shaped headlights and taillights might be the first thing to jump out at you, it's designed to be an absolute monster on the track. Using the Bugatti Chiron's infamous W16 engine, the Bolide produces just under 1,500 horsepower. This track-only weapon costs $3 million. Even Agent 007 might find himself with a bit of sticker shock from the Aston Martin Valkyrie, which is projected to sell somewhere between $2.6 and $3.9 million. 
We're kidding, of course, but even if he could scrounge together the cash, the Valkyrie is already sold out despite not even being on the road yet. The aggressively styled hypercar will feature a 6.5 liter V12 capable of 1160 horsepower and 664 pound feet. The Valkyrie will be limited to just 150 cars for the standard edition, and the even scarcer AMR edition will be limited to just 25 examples. Hailing from Dubai and established in 2012, W Motors unveiled its first production vehicle, the Lycan Hypersport, in 2013. This car certainly justifies its $3.4 million cost with titanium LED headlights housing 420 individual 15 karat diamonds and a holographic display in the center console. Performance-wise, the car showcases a twin turbocharged 3.7 liter six cylinder producing 780 horsepower and 708 pound-feet of torque. Joining the Huayra featured earlier on our list, the Pagani Huayra Roadster BC is, unsurprisingly, a roofless version with even more speed. The car is powered by an AMG source twin turbo V12 capable of 800 horsepower and 774 pound feet. Naturally, this Italian convertible features an equally monstrous $3.5 million price and it's limited to just 40 units worldwide. The Bugatti Chiron is already one of the most coveted hypercars on the planet and the Pure Sport variant takes things even further. Engineered with a focus on aerodynamics, weight reduction, and power distribution, the heart of the Pure Sport is its quad turbocharged 8 liter W16 engine. The car's peak output remains the same as the standard Chiron at 1500 horsepower, but the red line has been taken from 6700 to 6900 RPM. The Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport began production late last year at a price of $3.6 million. With many automakers moving toward an electric future, it only makes sense that supercars follow a similar path. The Lamborghini Sienna is the company's first electrified option based on the Aventador SVJ. Powered by the same 6.5 liter V12, the Sienna adds a 48 volt mild hybrid system with a total output of 819 horsepower, making it the most powerful Lamborghini to date. However, all of this performance comes at a price. $3.6 million to be precise. The Bugatti Chiron makes another appearance on our list with the Supersport 300 Plus. This car celebrates Bugatti's announcement of breaking the 300 mile per hour barrier with a modified test car. A road legal version of that car, the Supersport 300 Plus is limited to 277 miles per hour. That's a difference of 23 MPH that you, and hopefully the local highway patrol, will never get the chance to notice. The Supersport 300 Plus is limited to just 30 units and cost an appropriate $3.9 million. Like the CN, the Lamborghini Veneno is also based on the Aventador, with a similar price and limited quantity to match, with only 14 units ever produced. The Veneno was fitted with a souped up version of the Aventador 6.5 liter V12, putting out 740 horsepower and 509 pound feet of torque. That gave it a 0 to 60 time of 2.9 seconds. The Veneno also takes the crown as the most expensive Lamborghini ever, standing at $4.5 million. Although the styling of the Bugatti Devo could be considered more conservative compared to the Wild Belide, its clean lines, carbon fiber intercooler, and lighter overall weight, 77 pounds worth compared to the Chiron, still make it an incredible hypercar. The Devo's power remains unchanged from the Chiron at 1500 horsepower, but its sleek styling isn't just for looks. The improved aerodynamics help it beat the Chiron by 8 seconds around the famous Nardo test track. If you find the Chiron a bit too modest and want something a little more premium, the Bugatti Devo will cost you $5.8 million. First things first, the Mercedes Maybach Accelero was unfortunately a one-off, so good luck finding one for yourself. Commissioned by Fulda, Goodyear's German subsidiary, to test its new tires, the Accelero first came to light in 2004. Based on a Maybach platform, its twin turbocharged V12 put out 690 horsepower and 752 pound-feet. Its top speed was 218 miles per hour, and it cost Fulda $8 million to make. Adjusted for inflation, that's an eye-popping $10 million today. Time for a quick Italian lesson. 
Cento means 100, and Diece means 10. Put that all together and you get the appropriately named Bugatti Cento Diece, made to celebrate the iconic brand 110th anniversary. And now for a little pop quiz. The Cento Diece was limited to just Diece units, that's 10 for those of you not paying attention, and came in at a staggering $9 million. Switching from Italian to French, Noir means black, and the Bugatti La Boiteux Noir's murdered out hues give you some clear insight behind its name. Meant as a modern reimagining of Jean Bugatti's own Type 57 SC Atlantic, the one of one project uses a modern day appropriate quad turbocharged 8 liter W16 engine, producing 1500 horsepower and 1,180 pound feet of torque. It features six exhaust tips, exclusive wheels, a bespoke fascia, and light up badging. The only example was priced at a reported $18.7 million, officially making it the most expensive new car ever. Unofficially, however, Rolls-Royce might have the final say in the matter. Just recently, the company debuted the one-off project called the Boat Tail, filled with custom design pieces and a completely bespoke look. Though Rolls-Royce refuses to confirm it, the reported price for the Boat Tail is a stratospheric $28 million, leaving the Bugatti way behind. And that rounds up our list of the 20 most expensive new cars of all time. Hopefully this served as a bit of inspiration for your next purchase.